Is it crazy that The Bachelor has turned into this entire thing that a festival like this would recognize? Well, I was at Vulture Fest a couple years ago, and it so was... this is old news? Is that no, 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 <laughs> no. <clears throat> so... I just like, I love that it's this huge pop culture festival, and I feel like they cover everything. I don't remember what I was there. I know I saw um, Shauna Rhimes last time, so, you know, we have some ABC shows there. So I'm not completely surprised to see, AB, you know, ABC bringing The Bachelor here, but I appreciate it. I think it's really cool. Well, I know that you guys had your YouTube show um, with Jaden Tanner and, like, Nick popping in. How about, like, an actual show on television? Like, what would it take? Would it take a move across? the country could you guys see that happening still documenting your lives in some way well I feel like it's not exactly up to us that would be up to the networks or production no. companies if they want it and they think it's something that a lot of people would like to watch on TV or one of the apps these days mm. but um, I think it'd be a great idea yeah, I mean, that's kind of the whole reason we did What Now. We thought it was a really cool idea to kind of follow our lives now. And we're just really good friends. I think that's what really kind of is the interesting part is that two of our closest friends are Tanner and Jade. Nick is one of my closest friends who is a groomsman, also spoke at the wedding. Um, and so I think that was really kind of the genesis of the, of the idea. So we'll see if anybody wants it. You let us know. Well, being in Rhode Island for your wedding, of course, which, by the way, was insanely beautiful. I was glued to my phone the entire weekend. Oh, stalking the crap out of you guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, I mean, did that in a way give you some kind of urge to move back east at some point? Oh, that didn't give us the urge. We already have the urge, and he has, oh. he has an actual physical longing every single day of his life to get back to the East Coast. I think it's so just, uh, it's a different pace, of, you know, different pace of life over on the East Coast. Plus it's different, we've talked about this, My, I'm from Rhode Island and anybody who's from a small state like that or a small town understands, like, your family's there, your friends are there, your life was there. And I kind of moved too late, I was 29, so yeah, I kind of came to LA a little bit too late. Yeah. I never lived outside Rhode Island. I'm quite pathetic, it's nice to meet you. You are not. That is a lie. Yeah. If I've ever heard it, Jared, <laughs> you're very welcome. If you guys, like, fan fiction weren't a part of The Bachelor ever at all, what do you think you would be doing with your lives right now? Uh, you know, probably, uh, I don't know, busting tables. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be working for, like, Glamour, Cosmo, and I'd probably be writing for them and also doing some digital media for them as well. That's my best guess. So, I was listening to Nick's podcast the other day, and he mentioned, you know, that you always had a desire to be an actor, and that, you know, you never, re like, I mean, I, I said that? he did on his podcast. Nick's talking about me on his podcast? No. I mean, you should listen, you know. <laughs> Do you, yeah, like, I should listen, you're right. <laughs> but, like, is Does Nick it? listen to my podcast? That's, no, that's a good question no. right there. I think Nick can probably just listens to his own podcast a million times. <laughs> I'll tell him I said that, too. Um, but, like, do you ever consider going into acting? Because I, I feel like when you started, I heard something that you wanted to be an actor. Like, is this something you'd go for? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I've always, I love the idea of making movies. Uh, I've been a film connoisseur for a very long time. And so Ashley and I did a short film together called The Afterburners, which is on YouTube, which was a lot of fun to make. A buddy of mine from back in Rhode Island that I met at Hollywood Video directed it. He's out here. He went to film school, got his majors, uh, got his master's out here for it. Um, and so I actually just filmed another movie with him, a short film, uh, which I'm very excited about. That comes out next year. It's a small horror movie. So I would, I'm always open to the idea of getting into the film industry, whether that be behind the camera or in front, just because the idea of creating a story from scratch has always been pretty uh, attractive to me. Well, my last question for you guys is, would you ever do a season of The Bachelor where you spoiled yourselves right away? Like, would that be enjoyable in any way for you guys? Um, it's kind of unavoidable, I'll say that. Like, <clears throat> I've gotten every season that goes on further and further from ours. I seem to be able to hold off from knowing. I never seek out the information because I truly do want to watch it like a regular fan. But um, somebody will always end up just saying something in my comments or tweeting me something. And I'm like... No, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so just like everybody out there, don't don't spoil it for me because I really try to stay away. Yeah. I like up spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> it's just I'm that type of person. I want to know. Yeah. That's all. Have you done it this season at all? For it's almost over now. Uh, no, no. But once it starts ramping up, 
Yeah. I'd be like, all right, yeah, I wonder who wins. Let me look it up. But also, the spoilers aren't always right. I mean, I was on a season where the spoiler was wrong. So, yeah. you just, you know, you never know. So, read it, you know, read the spoilers with uh, an open mind. Or don't read the spoilers. Just watch the show. Enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm a spoiler reader, I have to say. Uh, but so, Sam, seeing that you look up spoilers, how does that affect you watching the show? I'm a storyteller myself, so I like to watch how it's going to happen. If I'm going to see a movie that I love, I want to see it twice. Did you know that Colton was going to pick Cassie? Yes, I did. So you want, but you watched his entire season? Yes, I did. So you wanted to see how that love developed over the course of the season? Pick up little Easter eggs, little hints that were happening along the way. Absolutely. Very interesting. Well, I'm Jared Haven. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Back to you, Susie.